to point out um, the source of light and darkness here. And the white and black mingling, the light shining through. And you have, perhaps you could say, you have a picture of the human being. The planets and the zodiac is a musical quality. The music of the spheres, you've heard of that. The movement between the dancing planets. And, but the zodiac is, is stationary. The constellations, they have their locations, and they, they exude, if you will, uh, energy, but also qualities of, uh, from many different angles. I can't go into it tonight. Um, but just to say that Mount Steiner calls this arrangement here the day spectrum. It turns out to be the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So that's the day spectrum, and the lower is the night spectrum. And the night spectrum includes those colors which are basically peach blossom, and a direction towards the red, which is a light rose red and a deep rose red. And door towards the violet is a light lilac, bluish lilac, and a deep bluish lilac. There may be different ways of describing it, those who are working with these things. But just to show that these more lavender, pinkish colors are something that do have a connection with our more spiritual nature. And the rainbow, there is definitely a connection between that and um, our day life, right? Now, all of these things, you can see them from different perspectives. Uh, so it's, again, not to get into a dogmatic um, kind of hold on these things, but and that would, it would really entail a whole study presentation on that alone. Uh, related now back to the Waldorf classroom coloring, just a brief uh, indication, presentation, that in grade one, we begin with the red. It should be sort of a warm vermilion red or silver red. Grade two is orange. Grade three can be uh, yellowish gold. Some people have a difficulty with yellow. But I think that if you find a good solution uh, where it's not too intense, it becomes very pleasant. And that all of these things connect directly with the curriculum. So that the colors have a deep connection with the growing child's development. It's not just having a rainbow in the classroom or in classrooms, that the colors really have a deep connection with the developing child. The green, uh, generally today, the color scheme is fourth and fifth grade. It straddles this green. One is more spring green, one is more bluish green. And then uh, sixth grade is the blue, bluish color. Uh, seventh grade, indigo. Eighth grade, violet. And you know, this is kind of a uh, red thread, if you will, that goes right through Will Steiner's presentation of color. Mm -hmm. uh, it stems, first of all, from the Gertianum. In the first Gertianum, the, the domes of this, this great building, which we'll hear, I'm sure, more about, uh, were painted with great monumental images. Right? But the basis of these images was a metamorphosed rainbow.
I think that you know what what is anthroposophy is trying to bring some new hope. And the rainbow, of course, is always an image of new hope. Uh, then you can see that in the classroom coloring, the tendency, the general direction, is to go from an active, warm color to the cooler colors, because as we develop as young people, we, we gain in strength and our ability to think and to rationalize, and we need this calming. Whereas the red, as Steiner indicated in that first quote, is something that stimulates this, this uh, need for calmness inwardly through this complementary color. So this works on the uh, blood, more the blood energy uh, pull of our nature and the more bluish on the nerve. And we'll hear, I'm sure, more about that too. Um, the polarity of blood and nerve. And that's a whole uh, aspect of science psychology, education psychology. Bones and bones that are square box. Um, color can have a powerful effect to transform the cube. You know, the square box. You can do things with color to change it. Vertically, you can move them horizontally. We're going to actually do that here. Uh, get some experience in that. Uh, you can bring a whole dynamic uh, of color between the shading with the sun's movement between the light of morning through the day. And that's the beauty. One of the beauties of Azure is that the light movement of the sun, the direction of the sun during the course of the day, the clouding or lightening up of the sky, the seasons, seasonal change. This is a dynamic uh, a part of, 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 of Missouri, whereas these lights, very static, right? So this, they're never really going to change unless the ball runs out. Um, yeah, and then that. And I will, you know, in our workshop, and I hope those who, are, who have not planned to do the workshop do plan the workshop, do the workshop, that you sleep on it and we'll see you in the morning, <laughs> because then we can continue on and say more about this work. But finally to say that we're try, trying to create a transparency, a breathing in the surface, right, and also move atmospheric, a atmosphere through color. This is really a community project.
me for green. Mm -hmm. so Talk about transition. Green and it's gone into the yellow after the. Isn't that